Trump raids civil unrest, prepare for anarchy. I want to give all the honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rabachah Kadash, Yahweh, who in the world eagerly calls Lord and God, Yahweh Shai, who in the world eagerly calls Jesus. Double honors to my elders at Great Millstone, single honors to the elect, peace and blessings to the one third, and to the confusion of faces. The four corners of the earth shall warm. As you can see on the screen, we have guns too. This is a quote. Quote, we have guns too. Unquote. Trump supporters flood TikTok with threats of civil war. This is also biblical prophecy, believe it or not. And if you understand what's going on, I live down here in Florida. Uh, Trump, his mansion, so to say, his residence was raided as you can see in the red square it says trump supporters are flooding tiktok with videos about civil war in response to numerous political issues including the fbi raid on mar-a-lago so this more than just what a lot of people are being rep being presented to about him taking nuclear documents from the white house and putting it in his house well you know how trump is very What's what I'm looking for? He's very um sporadic with his behavior. Meaning that you really don't know what he can do. Because he's unpredictable. But I don't think that he did that. But they're using it as an excuse to raid his house. So you know that he wants to run presidency, the next president, right? And there's a lot of Edomites out here, so-called white people that really back Trump. Because what Trump said, make America great make America great again. When America was great in their eyes. That was the worst time for the so-called Negro Latinos and Native Americans. That's why the elders of Great Millstone tend to say that Trump is Nero all over again. So what happened when Rome was when Rome was burned down? It wasn't even initiated by the Jews, which would be the Israelites. Nero blamed it on us, and then that's when the slaughter came. But I digress. So let's go to the next slide. In the, in the yellow, or should I say the orange, so to say. In a long thread this week, left-wing blogger and Twitter user at Living Blue Texas, or T TX, forgive me, shared more than 40 recent examples of instances in which conservative TikTok users made references to violence. Green Square. One such video shows an individual laying weapons and ammunition on his bed by telling his viewers to prepare. You hear that? This is on in the blue in the blue square. Um, quote, I see what happened to Trump, unquote, the TikToker says. Quote, yay, it's go time. Everyone knows exactly what I'm talking about. Unquote. So they're talking about having civil unrest. I know a friend that was um Brandon was in a he was in the Navy. He was in the Navy. Brandon was in the Navy. And this was like, man, I came into the truth 2009. I think this is like around 2013, probably, maybe 14. I say, no, no, 2013, 2012. He said, listen, there are already militias of ex-military servicemen that are ready for the war. This is like over a decade ago he told me this. So you don't think these people have ammunition, all types of tactical gear, weaponry, I mean, they're, they're trying to ban assault rifles. It's, it's just so much going on right now, right, with the NRA. But this is biblical prophecy as well. Okay? Listen to this. In Revelation 11 chapter, it speaks about America being spiritually Sodom and Egypt. The Bible is a book of prophecy, so it's not going to say America. It's going to give you lands and cities and estates during the times of antiquity and america would carry on those traits i.e spiritually saw them in egypt egypt was the first place the israelites were held captive i.e the so-called negro latinos and native americans and sodom goes back to well you know why the lord destroyed sodom and gomorrah right but they now make it legal for same sexes to be married hmm. but they say god bless america let's keep going this is isaiah chapter 19 verse 1 the burden of egypt Matazaria, Mizraim, which means double straits, straight, S 
T-R-A-I-T means a path of difficulty, which is a path of difficulty for the so-called Negro, Latino, Native American here in America. Because America that makes the world Babylon. So the bird of Egypt, behold, the Lord rideth upon a swift cloud, it shall come into Egypt. And the idols of Egypt shall be moved at his presence in the heart of Egypt shall melt in the midst of it. That's, that's biblical prophecy coming to fruition in the few, uh, in the near future, forgive me. But it's being spoken right now. Isaiah 19 and 2, here comes the point. I will set the Egyptians against the, against the Egyptians. It's talking about, I will set Americans against Americans who are the inhabitants of Babylon right now. And they shall fight everyone against his brother. So you got, I don't care if you left or right, they are so-called white people, Edomites, biblical Edomites, talking about get, getting them arms and going against their own government. And that's another scripture for that one too, but we'll get to that later, okay? And they shall fight everyone against his brother and everyone against his neighbor, city against city and kingdom against kingdom. What's it? What, a city against city is what? It don't matter. It don't matter what city you win. You gonna have Edomites shooting against Edomites. But when it says kingdom against kingdom, that'll be Russia against America. Why? Because Russians and Americans, when I say Americans, I mean Caucasians, are still Edomites. They're still Caucasians. They just live in different provinces and call themselves Russians or Americans. Speak different languages, but you still come from the same seat of Esau. That would mean my kingdom versus kingdom, right? And that's happening right now. But th listen, that's Third World War. You got civil war to worry about. The purge. Harkin. Now, this is the purple box. Trump's Florida mansion was raided on Monday by federal agents reportedly in search of classified documents that were removed from the White House. Conservatives immediately viewed the raid as part of a tyrannical effort to deter Trump from running for president in 2024. Now, I see that's what they're thinking. Oh, oh we're going to, we're going to, uh, oh, oh, we think that the government's trying to hinder Trump from running again. So now they want to take up arms against their own government. Wow. America's falling. This is the red box. The situation grew more dire after reports suggested that the documents in question may have been related to nuclear weapons. In response, Trump immediately began calling the allegations a hoax and began to baselessly claim that the FBI may have planted evidence at his home. Damn, don't it sound familiar when they used to plant drugs and guns on us, y'all? Really heavily in the 90s, right? Now, this is um, the yellow box. The calls for violence have already bled into the real world after an armed Trump supporter on Thursday attempted to break into an FBI office in Ohio. The man who made countless threats on Trump's Truth Social website ahead of the attack was shot and killed at the scene. So think about this. For one, he made constant threats on a true, Trump's Truth Social website. He tried to get into the FBI office and they shot and killed him. This is biblical prophecy. Think about this, y'all. Even January 6th, but think about this though. January 6th, think about this too. Second Esdras chapter 15, verse 16. Esdras is the Greek way of saying Ezra in the Old Testament. This is this is out of the Apocrypha. Second Esdras chapter 15, verse 16. For there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings, nor princes, in the course of their actions shall stand in their power. What does it mean? For there shall be sedition among men. Sedition means to overthrow civil authority. That's what you call civil unrest. Anarchy. Right? So, going to the next slide. The green box. In another video, one TikTok user can be heard attempting to recruit his his viewers into joining his militia. Blue Box, quote, I don't need sheep on my page. I need wolves that will stand with me that we might fight this corrupt government. That's why I just read 2nd Ezra. These corrupt cops, every, I have to say it because it's written there. Every, if you have children, cover their ears. Five, four, three, two, one. Every fucking corrupt person in this country and bring our country back to the glory it once was. 
unquote the user says once again think about when they had their independence from britain independence day july 4th 1776 there are photos of us being chained around the the trunk of a tree and jake still celebrated today it's, it's, it's just another excuse to grab a bottle of hennessy you know go grab you some dutch mass some batwoods you know get you you know go, go, go you know we'll get you an o you know get you a plate you know how it is you know holler at that one chick you know she got a dude though Man, come on, man. Like the Lord said, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. But I'm going to continue on. I don't want to start ranting. Purple Box. Numerous videos also make reference to the recent claim that the IRS is preparing to hire 87,000 new agents to carry out armed raids against American taxpayers. I forgot I got to add that to the title, too. So now they're talking about doing raids on taxpayers. That's invading your house. That's the enemy coming in as a flood. Listen to this. The claim surfaced after a climate health care, this is the red box, and tax package passed the Senate on Sunday that includes around $78 billion for the IRS. The $78 billion, however, will be phased in over a 10-year period. Nonetheless, what do they want to do? They want to invade you. Now, this is the last box. Now, now I'm going to read the rest of my precepts and close out. Quote, dear IRS, we the people, when I hear that thing about Kwame Brown, Lord have mercy, <laughs> we the people accept your civil war. We've been waiting for this for a long time. Why do you think I mentioned my Navy friend who I spoke to like over 10 years ago? Unquote. Another user says, quote, if you bring guns to our homes, guess what? We have guns too. That right there. It's also biblical as well. Because what's the modern day sword today? The gun. Bear with me. So, this is Isaiah chapter 59, verse 19. So shall they fear the name of the Lord, which is Yahweh, from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun, when the enemy shall come in like a flood. The spirit of Yahweh shall lift up a standard against him. Why am I reading this? Once again, we're talking about civil unrest. Those proud boys, the glory boys, I want to call them, because they think about make America great again. When it was glorious, it, it's, it was when we was at our lowest, lowest moment. So they're going to fight to the death to go back to wanting to be that same great country, which they're all delusional because all the other countries are bypassing America. You're having civil wars in your own in your own land, but then you're trying to you're trying to dictate and tell Putin and China and Iran what the hell they can do. It's, this is just, you spread too thin, man, just like in Rome, you know, but um. When it says the enemy shall come in like a flood, the enemy is going to be, who's our enemy? Anyone that's, anyone that's not in the truth. Anyone that's not praying and honoring and fearing. How about Shema Shai? Because they will do anything to stay alive and to keep this alive, which is going to die soon. Which What I mean going to die? America is going to be nuked off the face of the earth, obliterated, decimated. Okay? Desecrated. All right? Off the face of the earth. So the enemy coming like a flood. I mean who, who the hell going to protect us? What happened when they came to get Yahweh Shai? When um, Judas Iscariot. Betrayed him. Betrayed him. Forgive me. Peter drew out his sword and cut Malchus ear off. He said he that live by the sword shall die by the sword. The modern day sword is the gun. So. We're going to need Yahweh to lift up a standard for us. That's why I'm mentioning this. Yes, civil unrest is coming. We look at that as a glorious thing because that means that your kingdom is falling. But we're still going to be amongst you Gentiles when all this happens. That's why we need, that's why we're gonna need faith. That's why we're going to need faith. You know? You're going to need faith. So I'm going to read Psalms 124 and I'm going to close out. This is Psalms 124. A song of degrees of David. If it had not been the Lord, I'm going to read the way it's supposed to be read. If it had not been Yahweh, who was on our side, now may Israel say, If it had not been Yahweh, 
who was on our side, when the men rose up against us, then they had swallowed us up quick when their wrath was kindled against us. Then the waters, remember what it said, when the enemy shall come in like a flood, Isaiah 59 and 19, remember that? Then the waters had overwhelmed us, the stream had gone over our soul. Imagine you laying down in your bed, boom, boom, now who the fuck am I front? Boom, doom, battering ram, and I throw in a flashbang. Your ears ringing, you can't see. Somebody hit you in the back of the head with a baton. You got lights. You, you can open your eye, but it's, everything's blurry. And now you see a whole bunch of bright lights all in your face and everything. People in tactical gear. That's the enemy coming in like a flood. Being overwhelmed by those waters. Right? That's what that's, that's what's going to happen to two-thirds. Oh, my God. And they, ooh, they hate us as a people, period. Verse 5. Then the proud waters had gone over our soul. Verse 6. Blessed be Yahweh. Who have not given us as a prey to their teeth. Why? Because Yahweh is a strong tyrant to us. Proverbs 18 and 10. Verse 7. Our soul is escaped as a bird out of the snare of the fowlers. The snare is broken and we are escaped. <sighs> Man. Our name is in ours. Forgive me. I got excited. Our help is in the name of Yahweh. Who made heaven and earth. Yeah, evil's coming. Oh, yeah. Famine, pestilence. All oh, this is spoken of in the scriptures. Jeremiah 28 8. But we're going to trust in the name of Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rabachakodash, Thamyat, Walawaya. With that being said, pray was edified and fed. Stay in the spirit. Don't fear it. Just endure it. Ask for forgiveness. Pray without ceasing. Stay humble. Remain diligent. Kwame Allah. Mufla Babal. Shalom. Get along, guys. Southside TV.